Hello beautiful people, welcome back, I'm Anna and I haven't filmed in a while, I'm like, I think it's been like two or three weeks since my last upload which is not like me at all, but I'm back <laughs> and I'm back because the Oscars are today and we have some looks to react to so I'm really really excited about this after my Emily in Paris video I said I wasn't gonna do any more white background videos because there's a lot of space but in this case it kind of makes sense because I want to put the pictures for the dresses up here so let's get started So my phone's dying, so we're gonna make this really quick. Zendaya. Can't go wrong with Zendaya. She always knows exactly what to wear. She's really good, or like her style is, I guess. It's really good at knowing which colors work great on her. And this highlighter yellow dress with the cutout in the front I'm living for, I think it's so nice, so beautiful. But then again, everything looks good on her, so. I'm a little bit sad that she didn't go for something a little more out of her comfort zone. Because like we've seen like yellows from Zendaya in the past. We've seen a lot of yellow tones from her, but that's totally fine. If, if it works, it works. Amanda Seyfried. Oh my god, I am in love with this dress. I think I read a book on, on Vogue's Instagram that it was designed by Giorgio Armani himself and that it, the inspiration was the hibiscus flower which if you've seen a hibiscus flower before I insert it here it so makes sense it looks exactly like you would expect a dress inspired by this flower to look like it's absolutely gorgeous I love the simplicity of it I love that there's no other details in like any other colors she's so good at this like old Hollywood styles like we've seen so many of those from her and I love all of her red carpet looks it's very rare that I don't like one of her looks so 10 out of 10 I love this dress and I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of the names here Leslie Odom Jr. and Nicolette Robinson I have to say with these two I absolutely love his style I'm not crazy about hers which is not something I say a lot I I feel like men in red carpets play it so safe and boring all the time and just oh like come on you have this moment use it I absolutely love what he's trying to do maybe the gold is not for me but I think this the effort is there which I appreciate her I think she could have done a little bit better it looks a little bit too boring for me but that's just my personal taste I'm sure like she, she has a gorgeous body so she could have done literally that same dress in a different color would have looked so good I'm just saying like feels a little boring to me up next we have Laura Dern I feel like this is a very love it or hate it dress for Laura Dern either you are in love with it or you absolutely despise it I happen to be in the half that's in love with it I think it's so cool she looks like a freaking swan I'm in love with it I think it, it looks amazing on her. I have nothing bad to say about this dress. I just, I love it. I actually do love it. Viola Davis. I have loved Viola Davis's looks in the past. I think she's very hit or miss lately though. I'm not in love with this dress, I have to say. I love her. I don't love this dress. I think it's a little out there and I'm not loving the, and I'm not loving the like see-through cutouts. It's not for me. Love her though but I, this was a mess for me. Chloe Sao and Joshua James Rich. Some people never expected in their lives that they will be in a red carpet and it shows. I feel like I could see this dress at like H&M if I walked in. And his look is exactly the type of boring look that I was talking about, how men don't really try for red carpets. And uh, I, I don't know what she's trying to do. I guess she's trying to be simple and say she's simple with like the braids and no makeup and etc. But, and the sneakers. The sneakers are, don't get me started on the sneakers, oh my god, I, I cannot, <sighs> I'm not loving it, I don't know who they are, I'm sure somebody in the comments will know who they are and will hate me for this, but it just tells me they, they didn't put any effort into this red carpet whatsoever and that just kills my soul, especially in 2021, because we're all cooked up at home and living vicariously through people on red carpets and I'm, I, I can't, I, I, I can't forgive them for this. So up next, I have Lee Isaac Chung and Valerie Chung. They look adorable. I love them. I don't, also, I'm not very familiar with their work, but I love them. I think this looks amazing. I love her dress. I think, I just from looking at her, I know exactly who she is. Like, do you ever get that idea, like, with just, like, somebody's outfit? I think this looks so good for her. And he, even though it's very conservative, like, tux style, it looks like he tried with a little Shane. I don't know. I, I like them. I think they look great. I... I would put them together if they didn't, if I didn't see them together. I think they would belong together. I love them. I think they're super cute. 
Up next we have Riz Ahmed and Fat Fatima Farheen Mirza. I'm hoping saying that right. Absolutely love her dress. His suit, eh, whatever. But I love, love her dress. I think she looks like an angel. Um in love with this dress. I love the red shoes with the blue dress though. 10 out of 10. I love that. She looks she looks like she could be in a like perfume commercial. You guys know perfume commercials are like super extra. I feel like she's the type of person that would put in a perfume commercial. She looks really cool. Up next, Regina King. I don't, I don't even care about the guy in this photo. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's just such a fucking queen. I love all of her styles all the time. She kills red carpets and this is no exception. She looks like Butterfly Queen. This She looked like Wings the mini show was, was supposed to look like in my mind after I watched the animated version when I was a child and then I saw this atrocity. So I am so in love with this dress. I cannot believe it. I think she looks like a million bucks. I love everything about it. Can't say enough good things. Up next, Dana Murray and Pete Doctor. Pete, step it up, man. Same talks we've been talking about the entire video. Fucking hate men who don't even try a, a red carpet, cannot cannot send it. Dana. Dana. I'm not very familiar with your work, Dana, but what the fuck? <sighs> this looks like one of those like balloon dresses that became very popular. I to find the clip I'm inserted somewhere in here. But why? There's, why? I can't stand it. I feel like I could have made that dress with one of my curtains and still would look better than that. I hate the silhouette of this dress. I despise it. I cannot understand why anybody would even consider putting this on their body. I am beyond done with it. Reese Witherspoon. I love Reese's styles all the time. I think she's great. I'm not impressed with this one. I feel like she played it really safe. It's like, it's nice and like a mother of the bride nice, but it's nothing like groundbreaking like her looks normally are, so... It's like a 6 out of 10 for me. Halle Berry. This is what I'm talking about. When I say red carpet when I say you need to try give us something this is what I'm talking about I love her I I think this is great I'm in love with it this gives me like Hermione's dress meets perfume commercial like we're doing the perfume commercial thing again because I know you guys all of the extra commercials that we live for so I love it I think it's great I am in love with this dress I'm in love with her personality she's fucking amazing so yes yes a million times yes I love this dress so up next we have this lady which i don't know her name so we're gonna find out her name right now so this lady marley madeline marley she's serving i love marley <laughs> i don't know who marley is i've never never seen marley in my life but marley's got it down this is exactly the type of drama we want this is what we want to see marley is giving me like stardust witch vibes i love marley i don't know who she is but she looks great I love the sleeves, you guys know how I die for a dramatic sleeve. I cannot contain myself when there's a dramatic sleeve in the room. I'm so in love with dramatic sleeves and I think she kills it. I love this. 12 out of 10. Elizabeth Keenan. So Elizabeth, I'll be the first one to say that you do not need to wear a dress to a red carpet to look amazing. But at least fucking try. Like don't, you don't have to wear a dress but you gotta give a shit. I feel like Elizabeth Keenan went to Ross or TJ Maxx and picked out this outfit. I am so upset about this outfit. I cannot put it into words. Like, I get it. She may not just, she might just not give a shit, which it shows. But oh my god, like, it's like bothering me like a molecular level. And we gotta end this on a high note. Coleman Domingo. Coleman, I have no idea who you are, but I'm renaming you to Coleman Domingo. I love this. I think. Like I said, men don't take enough risks when it comes to red carpet fashion and my man went all out, like, oh my god. He looks like a fucking pink highlighter and I love it. I think this is exactly what we need in the fashion industry from celebrities. I'm absolutely in love with it. I cannot say enough good things. I'm in love. A man that wears pink from head to toe and rocks it is how you know my dude has no fucking doubts about his confidence like you can't say shit to this man about who he is as a person and i'm in love with it i this gives me jason momoa with a pink scrunchie vibes like that's the type of energy this gives and i'm here for it i'm always here for it so i think that's gonna be it for today thank you guys so much i hope you enjoy it if you have similar opinions leave them down below if you have different opinions leave them down below i just enjoy talking fashion with you guys you guys have a wonderful week stay safe love you all like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon.